Sweden, Muslim migrants batter a gay man to death, wrap snake around his neck. Now, we've seen some famous cases of gay men being beaten to death for no reason in the United States, and they get attention, and they should. It's wrong. It's stupid. If people who aren't normally criminals, though, will go kill somebody for what race they are or their sexual preference, because then it feels like it's okay that they're doing and now it's okay to beat up and kill white people in this country because, oh, you know, they're all racist, they deserve it. And the media tries to cover that up. And then when I criticize black racism, I get emails and see comments going, man, I used to watch your show, why are you racist against black people now? Well, you see, I exposed Tuskegee, which was already known before I was born, uh, but I exposed all the other things that aren't known, and a plan to exterminate black people because I'm not racist, and innocent black people don't deserve to be chopped up in the womb or be uh, given sentences that aren't fair. But that doesn't mean that I support hordes of black races either. See, it's a complex thought process. It's not like either I'm for Black Lives Matter or I'm against it. I'm against George Soros running it. Someone attends a protest in Saudi Arabia, they chant their head off. That's in the news today. Not a word out of the liberals, not a word out of the feminists. They just tell me all day that if I don't basically let my woman boss me around, I'm anti-feminist. Hey, you try to let a woman boss you around and run your life. They'll leave you so fast it'll make your head spin. domain. I'm out producing and building. So I don't need to sit there and curry favor with women. Because women are looking for men, not little boys who are in arrested development. Women are not my problem. Men who act men have a problem. And then they listen to popular media about how they're supposed to get a good woman. That's how you get to be alone. Everything the system pushes is to screw you up and arrest your development. Sweeping Muslim migrants batter gay men to death. Uh, I saw one of these last week where they stabbed one to death in London. They usually cover them up. So for everyone you see, even there's about a hundred. Victim taunted over his sexual orientation during brutal murder. Two Muslim migrants in Sweden have been charged. That's their happy hunting ground. Now, they rape Swedish women and they don't get charged. It's just, you don't kill a protected group. I'm not against gay people. It's just, you know, women are just as important as a gay man. I'm sorry, it's just true. But more sacrilege. Two Muslim migrants in Sweden have been charged with the hate crime murder of a gay man after they allegedly battered the victim to death before dressing him up in women's clothing and wrapping a snake around his neck. Another reason... In men is they target the more feminine gay men with the to pick you out. Obviously, see them fight for themselves. There's a lot of gay men out there who rip their arms out of their sockets. But again, you can't just tell they are. The two alleged perpetrators, and again, they're just predators. The two alleged perpetrators are 16 year old and 19 year old refugees from Morocco, according to prosecutors. The victim was deliberately targeted because of his sexuality. Morocco is 99.9% Muslim. And being gay, lesbian, or transgender is illegal with punishments up to three years in prison. That's very lax compared to most Muslim countries where it's punishable by death. It was illegal in Iraq, so they blew the country up. Uh, and women were 60% of college graduates, didn't have to wear a cover their faces, and you could listen to rock or music, so they, they blew it up. Any country like that, they blow up. Our government does. And then everybody buys liquor and pizza and sits around and we get dead. Oh, God, no! Cruise missiles! Oh, that's good for you! <laughs> now it's all a failed state. Al Qaeda's taking over. They're running rampant. Our government's giving them missiles. The incident began when the gay man met the 16 year old refugee in a park in Gothenburg and offered to help him by giving clothes and food. The three individuals ended up back at the gay man's apartment where the accused claims the man tried to have sex with the two migrants and they acted in self defense. Uh, our police recovered a video of a 16 year old cell phone which shows the gay man battered and bound 
the floor of the apartment. The 16 year old is heard screaming and cursing at the man wall, insulting him over his sexual orientation. The alleged perpetrators claim the victim was already dressed in a woman when they met him. All of the victim's boyfriend died, all the years when he was dressed in a dresser on, but his partner was cross dresser and a search the victim was dressed in women's clothes to mock him. The dead snake was found wrapped around the victim's neck, on which police found drops of 16 year old blood. And it just goes on from there. And, and that's the issue here, is you're not going to hear about this, or if you do, it'll be a flip. If you're a Christian or a conservative or something like that, you would never hear the end of it. And that's the bias and the control of the media. Here's some love stories. As lawmakers cross over refugees, Syrian immigration quietly topped 100,000 since 2012. And again, many of them are really invaders into Syria, backed by the West that failed, and as they serve their year term, they get to retire to the United States with welfare. That's Fox News. Saudi Arabia orders execution of teen for attending protests. 19 year old has been moved to solitary confinement and could be beheaded at any moment. Abdullah Al Zahir, and the youngest person given the death sentence, according to campaigners. Campaigns claim that uh, he attended the protest four years ago, we put to death. The 19 year old has been moved to solitary confinement. Despite the possible repercussions, his family have gone public with the story. And a final bid to save his life. That's in the UK Express. He participated in a protest rally. That's so 